Hi, it's Katrina. Did you know that snake fossils are actually pretty rare? While snakes have been around almost 100 million years, we are just now learning more about these incredible ancient predators. From snakes with legs to the ginormous titanoboa, here are 10 amazing prehistoric snakes. Number 10. Najash Najash is the only genus of stunt-legged snake to be discovered outside of the Middle East. It lived in the woodlands of South America around 90 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. While the other stunt-legged snakes have Greek names, Najash is named after the evil serpent of the Book of Genesis. Also, unlike other stunt-legged snakes which preferred marine habitats, Najash was almost exclusively terrestrial. The discovery of a land-dwelling two-legged snake challenged pre-existing theories among scientists that similar creatures in the Middle East evolved from Cretaceous marine-dwelling reptiles known as mosasaurs. While the fossilized skull and spine of Najash show features resembling other primitive snakes, it differed in some ways. For example, unlike other snakes that retained their hind limbs, Najash had well-developed legs extending outside the ribcage and a pelvis connected to the spine. These characteristics, as well as features of its neck and tail, show that snakes evolved from a lizard-like ancestor. In modern snakes and all other fossilized snakes, a pelvic bone called the sacrum as well as the pelvic girdle are absent. Put simply, Najash was most likely an early shoot of today's snake family tree. Imagine if we had snakes like anacondas with legs still walking around. That would be super bizarre, right? Number 9. Dinalicia Dinalicia is an extinct genus of snake that lived in the woodlands of South America during the late Cretaceous period as well. You're going to hear that a lot. Between 90 and 85 million years ago. It was between 6 and 10 feet long and weighed 10 to 20 pounds. Although Dinalicia was of moderate size according to Cretaceous standards, there were still reasons for some members of the animal kingdom to fear it. Dinalicia was an aggressive hunter that preyed on smaller animals. It had a round head and an inner ear organ that indicate it was a burrowing snake. The organ picked up on low-frequency ground vibrations, which helped the snake track prey, suggesting that Dinalicia was most likely strictly terrestrial and did not spend any of its time living in the water. Number 8. Tetrapodophis Tetrapodophis is Greek for four-legged snake, so you can already start to picture it. This extinct early Cretaceous genus existed around 120 million years ago in the woodlands of South America. Tetrapodophis was a small snake measuring about a foot long and weighing less than a pound. What made it unique was its four vestigial limbs, making it the only known snake with four limbs. Despite this unique feature, Tetrapodophis possessed various traits resembling modern snakes, such as an elongated body, a skull with a short snout and long brain case, sharp hooked teeth, curved jaws, and broad belly scales. It wasn't until 2015 that Tetrapodophis was officially named, based on a complete skeleton within a limestone slab located in Germany. Until then, the fossilized remains were labeled unknown. Upon further examination by paleontologist David Martel, the fossil was determined to originate from Sierra, Brazil. Not everyone is convinced of Tetrapodophis's roots, or that it even existed. In 2017, writer and apparent skeptic Bob Strauss of Thought Co. proposed the possibility that Tetrapodophis is a hoax, citing its questionable origins and the lack of an explanation for how the fossil ended up in Germany. What do you think? And now for number 7. But first, do you know how long the Titanoboa was? Leave your guess in the comments below. And wanted to give a quick shout out to Farzan Munshi, Istvan, and DJ Gamer 101 for their super nice comments. Thank you so much, and if you are new here, be sure to subscribe to join the Origins Explained family. Number 7. Gigantophis. The Gigantophis is an extinct prehistoric snake that was considered the longest ever snake to exist until the Titanoboa was discovered. It lived around 40 million years ago during the Eocene epoch of the Paleogene period. Gigantophis dwelled in northern Africa where modern-day Egypt and Algeria are located. On average, it was around 33 feet long and weighed about half a ton, or 1,000 pounds. At its maximum length of 35.1 feet, Gigantophis would have been 10% longer than any of its living relatives. Like many prehistoric species, scientists' knowledge of this guy is limited. Most of what the experts know is based on fossils of the animal's vertebrae. The discovery of Gigantophis was announced in 1901 by paleontologist Charles William Andrews. Number 6. Mad Soya 
The extinct Madsoya genus of prehistoric snakes lived from the late Cretaceous through the Pleistocene period, from 90 until about 2 million years ago. Species of Matsoya lived in Africa, Madagascar, South America, and Europe, ranging from 10 to 30 feet long and weighing from just 5 to about 50 pounds. These moderate to large vertebrates were part of a bigger family of snake ancestors called Matsoyidae, most of which lived during the existence of the supercontinent Gondwana. Paleontologists have a long way to go when it comes to figuring out the evolutionary relationship between both the Matsoya and the Matsoyidae and modern snakes. The various species of Matsoya span roughly 90 million years and have a wide geographic and temporal distribution. Plus, like many other primitive snakes, these species are known almost exclusively through vertebrae fossils. Number 5. Sanajay Sanajay was a genus of Matsoyidae from the late Cretaceous period that lived between 70 and 65 million years ago. It lived in the woodlands of present-day India. This moderate-sized snake grew to be around 11 feet long and weighed between 25 and 50 pounds. Although it wasn't the largest prehistoric snake, Sanajay was the first to prey on dinosaurs, limiting its targets mostly to babies between 1 and 2 feet from head to tail. In 2010, paleontologists in India discovered the fossilized remains of an 11-foot-long Sanajay wrapped around a newly hatched titanosaur, indicating that the ancient predator had a tendency to hunt at dinosaur nesting sites. Surprisingly, its jaws had a much more limited range of motion than modern snakes. Sanajay still used its jaws efficiently, however, and was capable of swallowing larger than usual prey. However, it was limited by its narrow jaw gape and could not consume large prey that many modern snakes prefer to feast on. This may partially explain why Sanajay preferred the seemingly cruel method of targeting newborn dinosaurs for its meals. You gotta do what you can to survive. Number 4. Eupodophis Eupodophis is Greek for original footed snake, an extinct genus from about 90 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. This marine snake lived in ancient Mediterranean waters and was only about 3 feet long, weighing just a few pounds. Eupodophis was a transitional creature between Cretaceous lizards and limbless snakes, a snake-like reptile with stubby hind legs measuring less than an inch long. Although small and most likely useless, these appendages contained characteristic leg bones including fibulas, tibias, and femurs. Altogether, three genera of prehistoric snakes equipped with vestigial legs were discovered in the Middle East, one of which was Eupodophis. Number 3. Hasiophis Hasiophis is Greek for Hasis snake. This extinct genus consisted solely of the species Hasiophis terrasanctus, which lived between 100 and 90 million years ago. It also lived in the woodlands of the Middle East and is one of the three genera of prehistoric snakes in the region that possessed vestigial legs, like I said, including the aforementioned Eupodophis. The species is known from a single fossil that was discovered in the central west bank at Ein Yabrud in the Judean hills, around 12 miles north of Jerusalem. This only known specimen of H. terrasanctus is nearly complete, missing only its tail, and measures 34.6 inches. These fossilized remains of what's considered to be a small snake are housed in the collections of the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. Some experts believe that the snake's distinctive skull and tooth structure set it apart from the better known Pachyrachis. You guys having fun with these names yet? Others theorize that H. terrasanctus is a descendant of Pachyrachis. One thing researchers do know is that these two snakes, along with Eupodophis, were marine snakes that evolved from land-dwelling reptiles. Unlike some of the other prehistoric snakes on this list, H. terrasanctus wasn't overwhelmingly large or a vicious predator. It mostly ate small creatures from within its aquatic habitat of lakes and rivers. Number 2. The Pachyrachis Pachyrachis is Greek for thick ribs and is an extinct genus of hind-legged snake living during the early Cretaceous period from around 130 to 120 million years ago. It's the third of the hind-legged prehistoric snakes discovered in the Middle East. Fossilized remains of the animal were found in the Central West Bank in Ainya Brood also. Paleontologists cannot identify a single moment when a prehistoric snake first evolved from a prehistoric lizard. Pachyrachis is considered an intermediate form between the two. It had a python-like head and a scaled snake-like body with two vestigial hind legs and was primarily a marine dweller. Its ribs and vertebrae were made of thickened bone, which functioned to decrease the animal's buoyancy. Pachyrachis was relatively small, measuring between 3 and 4 feet long and weighing between 1 and 2 pounds. Unlike many modern-day pythons and boas who possess remnants of legs, Pachyrachis had hip, knee, and ankle joints. 
Despite being one of the oldest known snakes, its evolutionary position has been debated. Its well-developed hind limbs indicate that it was a transitional form between marine lizards and snakes. Number 1. The Titanoboa The one you've all been waiting for! The Titanoboa lived in the South American jungle around 60 million years ago, roughly 5 million years after the dinosaurs went extinct. Once the dinosaurs were wiped out, there was an empty slot at the top of the food chain, and Titanoboa was happy to fill those shoes. This primitive apex predator reached up to 50 feet long and weighed up to 2,500 pounds. That's twice the weight of a polar bear. It was around 3 feet wide at its thickest point, longer than a human arm. To give you an idea, Titanoboa was roughly five times bigger than a modern-day anaconda. How does that make you feel? Titanoboa was brown, just like the muddy waters it slithered through, keeping the gargantuan snake well camouflaged as it lurked for its next meal. Scientists are divided on how Titanoboa killed its prey. Some believe that it acted like a boa constrictor, wrapping itself around its helpless victim and suffocating them to death. Other experts believe that while Titanoboa resembled a boa constrictor in appearance, it may have behaved more like an anaconda, ambushing its prey from a hiding spot with an instantly disabling blow. Researchers do agree that Titanoboa swallowed its prey whole, regardless of how it killed its target. Smithsonian reported that in one of the world's largest coal mines in Cerrejón, Colombia, paleontologists have also discovered one of the world's richest, most important fossil deposits, providing us with a unique snapshot in time of the moment when dinosaurs disappeared. We first learned of Titanoboa in 2002, when paleontologists with the Smithsonian Institution discovered the fossil near the mine. They found a complete snake skull in what would have been an ancient tropical ecosystem that is very rare in the rest of the world. In fact, this location may have hosted one of the world's first rainforests, and at one time every life form within it, such as crocodiles over a dozen feet long and seven foot long lungfish, were at the potential mercy of the Titanoboa. Thanks for watching! Which one was your favorite? Can you pronounce these names? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you soon!